front of you is what used to be Eden Reclamation. So it's a shop or a yard that sold all manner of memorabilia from the small to the very large. And I think it's now either abandoned or in the process of being abandoned. So I want to get here and record what's here whilst I can. So there's an old phone box, beautiful pattern on that. Behind there are signs, shop windows, weeds growing, subjects to be had. And beyond, we've got the Mount Kernow or the Sky Tip Memorial of uh, the clay industry. So I came here a couple of days ago, took some colour. The plan is now to make some mono pictures. So, camera is now set up, got my composition, which I remembered from my previous visit. So, the telephone box here, with the building in the background, with all the signs. So, we've got Kentmere 400 loaded into the Bronica, which is now set up. So, I'm going to take a metre reading or two, just see what we've got. So, sun's going down now, so we're going to go on to 400. Now I have brought some filters with me, which may or may not be of use, but let's start with an instant metre reading. So 400, we're getting 60th at F8 at the moment from the incident. It's more like a 30th at F8 off the uh, telephone box, but that's OK. The 60th at F8 is probably about right, because we don't want that to be too bright. We don't want it to be mid-grey, we want it to be on the darker side. So 60th F8. Eight. Let's get to F8. Let's see if we can make a shot. Something eminently satisfying about doing slow photography. So we're focused on the telephone box. We're just getting a hint of light through the uh, from behind there. That's quite interesting. It is quite heavily backlit despite the sun going down. However, let's see what we can get. So, kept me a pan 400, no filters. 160th F8. Let's go 130th of F8. Let's be bold. Okay, so I think that's that subject pretty much done. Now we're going to move in a bit closer and take the signs mainly and the window. So if you're moving to a new location, don't just pick the tripod up and plunk it down again. You've got to get it set up properly. But before I do that, I've got to dial in my composition. So I'll move it to one side, then I'll level it, then I'll put the camera on the tripod. And I'll just get an idea of the composition. So yes, this is pretty much it. It's a little bit awkward because we're getting a bit of the window in. Let's see if we can go a bit over here and lose the window and maybe come in a tad closer. Yeah, so we just get the signs and maybe we can crop out the uh, the other bits and pieces later. Now certainly I was here yesterday. That's quite central. So I'm going to stick with this, try and make the composition work from here so another tip is when you know where you want to be <laughs> camera down at your feet that's where the tripod head is gonna be tripod leveled there we are little green dot little green bubble now I'm gonna get that lined up pretty straight right, and that's fairly straight Let's see if that works we may still have to move the tripod a tad but at least we're at a point where everything is straight. Benefits of having a geared head is you can make very precise adjustments. The uh, compromise is we're going to have to have a bit of the window in. I want to try and get the plant at the bottom. I can show you that. So I want to get that in too, because that gives it a bit of uh, scale. I think that's going to be it. Let's get the 
focus perfect very much on the money there I think so all set up meter some really nice glows from the clouds now actually you can't see so there may be a sunset at the end of the day let's do a reflected light metering 15th of 11 30th of f8 so we're down a stop from here you see the uh, paintbrush left lying there it says how everything was just left and you can see more inside today so quite interesting that so 30th f8 we're still at a 30th at f8 so let's take a picture and then i might if i got the i haven't got the brush in the picture so i might come back a tad and add that to the composition let's see what works best right 30th at f8 let's go ah So let's adjust composition. So I'm not going to get the uh, the brush in here like that. Let's come out here. And we've probably adjusted the angle of the tripod a bit. See how far off that is. That's still pretty much level actually. Good. So, and we now got the brush. Can we still keep the brush in the composition? Still there. We don't lost it now. So we'd have to come back. That's another 18 inches. Of course, we're getting more of the, of the window now. But I think that's unavoidable. And back another. Let's go back to the line here. now we're getting the that side in and we may be able to get away with now we've got to come slightly sideways i think that should do it i think we have got the paintbrush are we level not quite pretty much level now paintbrush is in at the bottom focus is dialed in Actually, we've got the mannequin to the left. That, that does add something to the composition. In fact, it adds quite a lot. So the paintbrush and the mannequin are adding something to, to my composition. So we've got these two elements in here, the paintbrush down there and the mannequin with just one arm over there, liking it. Right, so we're still at a 30th of F8. So dark, dark slide out, 1 30th of F8. Beautiful. Now, when I came here the other day, it was much darker and you couldn't really see the mannequin. So we're going to do 15th at F8. See if we can bring that in a bit more. So, got all the elements, the signs, the paintbrush, the plant growing up over the lower sign and the mannequin to the right. Very happy with that, yeah. See if it works when it comes to being developed. We actually got a very pleasant evening now. I don't think we're actually going to get a sunset, but a beautiful evening. So I think what I'll do is I'll get the um, colour back and I'll uh, put that on and do that one because it was certainly better conditions now. The light is somehow better. It's a bit more bouncing off the clouds and stuff. Colour back. Kodak Gold instead of Kentmere 400. Take the one off, put the other on, and it's as simple as that. With this system camera approach, it's certainly very satisfying doing that. But we've got to go down a stop here. So we've gone from, well, we're going to start at a 15th of F8. As the light will be starting to decline quite quickly now, actually. So that's one wound up. So we're on exposure number nine, dark slide out. So I'm also going to put it down to one eighth of a second at F8 as the light is definitely starting to go down. So pretty happy with that really so far. 
I'm wondering if we can perhaps get one of the actual mannequin window itself. Okay, so we've still got the colour back on, we've moved in on the mannequin window and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dig out the filter system and see if I can put the polarizer on and that will do something about the slight amount of glare that there is there. Right, so filter ring attached. There we go. So now I can immediately see there's been a quite a big change in the brightness but also as much less in the way of reflections are just going to get the best I think about there will do so half a second to day eight to adjust for the polarizer so that looks pretty good let's do one second at f11 just for interest sake, one second left and I've adjusted the polarizer. And we're on to the last shot on the gold. We want to slip in the uh, black and white. Again, this makes it so much easier being a system camera, you don't have to wind everything on. So so we can come back to half a second at F11 and this may or may not do better. So half a second at F11. And let's be a devil and do quarter of a second at F11. Okay, so I think that is pretty much shoot over. Let's wrap this up now. I've been Andy from Chromograph Photo Art. So I hope you've enjoyed these pictures and uh, hopefully see you on the next one. Bye for now.